Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to remove Sekiro's endgame 60 FPS cap In order to do this, I will be using Sekiro FPS Unlock and Move Utility Tool It patches game's memory while running, it does not modify any game files So you can run the game in online mode with this utility tool running in the background It's not just limited to removing the game's 60 FPS cap Following features are included Works with both legit and quiet version of the game G-Sync and FreeSync are supported in borderless window mode, unlock frame rate, remove FPS limit by setting a new custom limit. I'll be testing the game on my ROG Ally, its display supports up to 120Hz refresh rate, so I'll set the FPS cap to 120. You can also use this tool in conjunction with lossless scaling frame generation app, LSFG will help in doubling the FPS. Custom resolutions are supported, 21-9 widescreen supported. Increase or decrease field of view, set the game to borderless window mode, disable camera auto rotate adjustment on movement. Intended for mouse users, I will be playing the game using gamepad. Disable centering of camera, camera reset, on lock on if there is no target. Display hidden death or kill counters and optionally lock them to file to display in OBS on stream. Automatically loot enemies, I will just enable this feature. Game modifications, following are supported, prevent dragon rod from increasing upon death. Disable death penalties like losing sen or experience. Increase spirit emblem capacity on prosthetic upgrades or prosthetic arm. Global game speed modifier increase or decrease. Player speed modifier increase or decrease. Automatically patch game on startup seamlessly switch between windowed borderless and borderless full screen. Hotkey for patching while in borderless window mode. Hotkey for toggling speed modifier while in borderless window mode. You can download this utility tool for absolutely free from GitHub. I'll give its link in the description of the video. Installation instructions have been provided. And just click on this link at the time of recording this video. This is the version of the tool 1.2.5.2. Click on it, then click on the exe file. Open File Explorer, click on Downloads. Here you'll see the exe file. I have transferred it to another folder. Name the folder as Sekiro, you can name it anything you want. There's the exe file. Now just open Adrenaline Settings, press Alt plus R keys. We need to disable vSync from there. I have installed the latest stable GPU drive from AMD, Adrenaline version 24.3.1. Just click on Gaming, back click on Games, select Sekiro, pre-sync enable, make sure vSync is disabled, always off. I have enabled anti lag setting. RSR enable will be upscaling the resolution from 720p to full HD. First, just run the vanilla version of the game and set the display mode to windowed. I have set the UMA buffer size to 6GB. For this game, you can also set the UMA buffer size to 4GB. It does not consume a lot of VRAM. It's a hot day today in India. I am using a 25 watts manual profile. All the power values set at 25 watts. 720p resolution CPU boost disabled. My game is already running in window mode. Connected my Gullicate KK3 Max gamepad to LIVI Bluetooth mode. Using a custom afterburn overlay to show you the performance metrics. Graphics settings. Screen mode set to windowed. 720p resolution. I am using the medium preset. And just disable motion blur. Off. And that's it. You can close the game. Quit. Run the utility tool, double click, there it is, description has been provided here, the same description has been provided on this tools github page, I will just enable this feature, automatically loot enemies, entirely up to you which feature you want to use, if you want to increase or decrease the game speed, just check the box corresponding to it, then increase or decrease as you wish. Player speed can be adjusted from here. Again, this is optional. Okay, so make sure frame rate lock setting is checked. I'll set the value to 120. LS max refresh rate. If you want to set a custom resolution, just check the corresponding setting and set the resolution count. We will be able to tweak these settings on the fly when the game is running. At the moment, I cannot access borderless window and full screen stress settings. Just make sure Alias refresh rate is set to 120Hz. Right click anyway on the desktop, then click on display settings. Then click on advanced display from this drop down bar. 
select 120 hertz not 60 hertz before launching Sekiro I'll also launch lossless scaling app it's a universal frame generation application works on any GPU sells for around 7 US dollars on steam store under frame generation select LSFG this will enable the frame generation not using any scaling filter clip cursor setting checked draw FPS setting checked capture API set to TXGI click on settings start administrator setting checked hotkey for enabling LSFG control alt and s that's it now launch the game lossless scaling app is completely optional you don't need to use it after launching the game just switch to the FPS unlocker tool press alt plus tab keys together it's running in the background no valid game process found this message will also pop up again press all plus tab keys together unknown game version 1.6.0.0 this is for the steam version of Sekiro you just need to click on ok tap on it game initializing our settings got reset patch game now just close the application and the game Hold press F4 keys stop the game launch the unlocker tool we'll see these two files set the settings 120 FPS cap automatic loot enemy setting enable optional keep the app running launch the game now switch to the FPS unlocker tool and there it is check borderless window as you can see FPS got doubled 120 FPS unlocker tool is working game is running in full screen mode in game settings screen mode set to windowed 720p resolution medium preset there is a character here we are getting around 80 FPS not hitting the GPU bottleneck overall performance is limited by the single post CPU performance game is running so smoothly on ally without using any frame generation technique ok I will engage in combat block the attack perfect timing automatically looted the body you can grapple to certain points just like this let me just open the FPS unlocker tool and just decrease the game speed check the box corresponding to it decrease the speed to around 50% just show you the effect and you can see how slowly our character is moving everything can be done on the fly the tweaks I'll just remove this tweak difficult to play the game you can uncheck the box or just set the value to 100 back to the game yeah it's working normally now I'll clear the area here we are getting around 70 FPS lot of non level characters here you need to be careful dog attacked me checkpoint is nearby and there you go I'll just enable LSFG now press ctrl alt and s keys together FPS counter and it's actually got enabled and you can see remnant feature is also working FPS counter with frame generation shows a count of around 130 oh my god not a big improvement in terms of performance being honest LSFG did not intrude beg your pardon, introduce any graphical artifacts so it's up to you I'll just disable it 
play the game as it is. Base FPS is around 80. I'll engage in a mini boss fight before concluding the video. Oh my god, this guy is angry. General now Mori. That was close. critical hit oh no can't even see his attacks got trapped here I got greedy there almost died I died one more chance is wrecked got him so highly recommended to use the FPS unlocker tool for playing this game 70 to 90 FPS using the medium preset on raw ally you can also use LSFG in conjunction with it that's it with the video guys I hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day